As a kid, we used to go by on a wa- in a wagon along the lake. There was wagon trails. And we just camped wherever it was a nice little spot and camped there a few days. My uh, parents depended on the lake and everything along the lake. So we, uh, we spent time here and there all over. Wabamun, Lake Wabamun is named after a mirror. That's Cree Wabamun, supposed to be Cree. Years ago, long time ago, the people from Wabamun, our First Nations, are, all came there from different areas, from different communities. And a few of the elders have stated that go to that lake, it, it's like a mirror. You could just see right you know, in there. You could look, look in there and you could see like a mirror. It's so clear, it's so clean. There's fish there, there's life there, all over there. Well, we used to be really, really happy to fish on the lake. We used to get fish in the summer and get fish in the winter. In the summer, we smoke our fish and, and that was our way of life. There was an abundance of ducks, many, many species of ducks. They, had, they nested along the, in the, in the bay there. So you could go around collecting an egg or two from each nest and you had a whole pail full to eat. It was so, it was awesome. Power plants, we fought that. We, Power First Nations, the young people, we, when they started to put dams on the creeks, we fought it. We, did, we were nothing, we were just like that ant crawling around, you stomp on it, we were like that. Cause it's a, big companies that were taking that water from that lake. And, the, and then the water's boiling all winter long, so there was no more ice. And, and when that happened, the geese didn't fly south anymore. Now there was total confusion, because they, they thought that was the Florida or something. Yeah. And the fish started to deteriorate. We used to have big, beautiful fish, big, big fish, no more. You know, and the, the little um, minnows, there used to be big schools of those, those started to disappear. A lot of little plants, a lot of little bugs, a lot of blackbirds, different species of blackbirds, dragonflies, everything along that lake, there's nothing now. You might, you might hear a loon, you might see a pelican, you might see the odd duck. When you go to the lake now, the silence will just deafen you. The absence of life, well, it's just sad. The plants that we used to depend on for medicines that grew along the lake, they're gone. And if they are there, they're not usable anymore because they're destroyed. But we have to say something, tell stories so that our, even the unborn ones can rely on what we're saying. Don't do this to our lakes. Don't do that to our rivers. Don't do that to Mother Earth. Don't, don't take these things out. There must be other ways to, to accommodate the future, the public, the modern world, instead of destroying what Creator has given us.